Overthrows of governments have been seen at various times all across the world, and as unbelievable as it may sound in the 21st century, unexpected takeover of governments is not really a thing of the past, as proved by the military grabbing power in Myanmar in 2021. Every year, we hear reports from all over the globe describing attempted or successful coups. The word coup itself comes from the widely used French phrase coup d'état, meaning stroke of state, and is now an accepted term used to describe sudden overthrow of a government. There exist different types of coups depending on the parties involved and the form of government being removed or installed, but there is one key characteristic that distinguishes a coup from a revolution – control over military and police forces. This is where military coups come into play, where the military leadership takes over a country. Here is a comprehensive guide to the causes and outcomes of an armed coup. What happens in a military coup? A military coup is characterized by swift transfer of power with or without the use of violence and comes with certain very distinct features that are common to most coups. The first is the control of military assets as well as strategic points of the country. As seen in Pinochet's case, where the Navy and Air Force took full control of the military equipment, thus cutting off the state from these weapons and armored vehicles only to use it against them. While Idi Amin's supporters took over the airport in Uganda, took over airports to regulate the entry and exit into the country. The next phase involves timing the coup. The most famous military coups in history include the likes of Pinochet taking over Chile in 1973, Gaddafi taking over Libya in 1969, and Idi Amin's power grab in Uganda in 1971. All three of them happened in a power vacuum when the leader was either severely weakened due to political opposition. With mobilization of the loyal supporters and military assets, the next and final phase of the coup involves launching a brazen attack on the power center of the government, having cut off all of its communication means with the external world. This renders the established government powerless and with no way of calling for reinforcements or help. This makes the established regime fall in a matter of hours, giving the orchestrators enough time to take control of the power before other factions have time to intervene. What happens after a military coup? In most cases, military coups are not popular revolts, rather they are power grabs orchestrated by the military elite, often with covert international support. These coups have been known to change the lives of the civilians for the worse, as most of the times the leader of the coup installs himself as an authoritarian ruler bent on crushing out all opposition. This form of illegal government run by the military is often called a junta and is currently in power in quite a few countries in the world. Those were the basics on what happens when a military takes over the government. If you enjoyed this video, do make sure you drop a like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos.